The blood, you know, there's a difference between the blood in your veins and the blood in your arteries. And you know what they show from the blood on the shroud? That <laughs> the venous blood is exactly where the venous blood is supposed to be. And the arterial blood is exactly where the arterial blood is supposed to be. Knowledge of the difference between venous and arterial blood was not discovered until 1593, centuries after it began to be displayed in Leary, France. Did a forger in the 14th century know the difference between venous and arterial blood and put it exactly where it's supposed to be on the shroud even though 200 years later it's first discovered? I don't think so. <laughs> the blood on the shroud also contains a high content of bilirubin, which is found, you know what, is produced in the liver when the body undergoes traumatic shock, meaning this is not the blood of a normal human. None of us would have the content of bilirubin that is on the shroud. Our blood couldn't be used for the shroud. The, only the blood of a se severely traumatized man could have been used on the shroud because of the content of bilirubin. Uh, I think crucifixion qualifies. <laughs>